I have a series of videos based around the Eligu Arduino starter kit, the latest of which covers the ultrasonic sensor. When I was looking around on the web, I saw many examples of this sensor and the graphical representation on the PC. Although the videos that I saw went into great detail about how the ultrasonic module was configured by the Arduino, none of them that I could find explained actually how the graphical display was made, and so I had to find out for myself. Hopefully it may save you some time searching around. To display the graphics we need this processing program, so I've gone ahead and downloaded the version for my Windows 64-bit. I've unzipped processing to my desktop. It doesn't need to be installed, it's just here as an executable. So let's go ahead and start that. With processing now running, there's an extra task that we need to do, which is to install a special font. That font is within the radar RAR file. We need to install this. We can do that simply by double clicking it and install. Apparently it's already there, but we'll say yes anyway. With that installed under Windows, we can now go back to Processing and look in the Tools, Create Font, select the font we've just installed and change the size to 30. The sketch that we need is included in the Processing folder, again from the Radar RAR file. Here is our sketch. It's a very similar environment to the Arduino IDE itself. We need to know which COM port our Arduino is connected to so that we can edit the appropriate line in the processing sketch. We look in the serial monitor, not available because it's not plugged in. With the sketch running on the board, we can see the output, which is the angle followed by the distance. And we can see that on COM9. Here in the sketch, we need to change this to COM9. Let's run it. have an error here that says that the extended VLW file needs to be in the data folder of the sketch. Looks like we need to copy this and put it into this folder here. Let's try running that again. And there she blows. Here we can see it scanning, so now if I put a new object in its path, we can see it as the red indicated there, with a distance just under 10 centimeters. If we move it out to say 20 centimeters, we can see here now that it's out to 20 centimeters. So it seems to be reasonably accurate. 